Tony Vitello is currently the Vols' best football recruiter. Why? Because of what he's doing in Omaha, Nebraska. Here is my story, kids, and here is why you should be a fan of all sports and the previous hatred of the Lady Vols among Tennessee football fans made no sense. Because let me tell you a little story about Terry Fair. Caleb, you know Terry Fair. Terry Fair played for the Detroit Lions, among other teams in the NFL. But before that, he was a volunteer. He was selected in the first round, was an All-American. Before that, he was a high school football player in Arizona that was considering local schools such as Arizona or Arizona State. Why not stay west? That's what everybody does. And then one of those coaches came in and mentioned Tennessee. But uh, all that Terry Fair had known about Tennessee is what he had seen that week against the Lady Vols. And he had seen the Lady Vols play on television, and he thought, that's exciting. I'm interested now in Tennessee. The same thing is happening for countless young men and women right now. Tony Vitello will help Tennessee football, Tennessee Basketball, of course, Tennessee baseball, the Lady Vols in every sport has been an incredible, incredible positive for the University of Tennessee. Caleb, I had to go out of town for a show on Saturday, and I will tell you that every single, or I won't say every single television, but half the televisions in an Atlanta town were on the College World Series. That's in a pro town, Caleb. That Terry Fair ended up being a Vol, and there's somebody out there right now that's watching Tennessee and will end up being a Vol because of what Tony Botello is doing. Dylan said it, and you're right. A rising tide lifts all boats. That's what I got to say. You? Could even be a little deeper and more direct. Um, Dave, do you remember? Uh, take his character aside. We don't have to talk about his character because I think we all think very lowly of him, the person. But do you remember Jameis Winston at Florida State? Yes. Do you remember when he was a pitcher, too? Uh, yes. Somewhere out there is a five-star quarterback who wants to be able to pitch also. Mm. And you don't think Tennessee is going to be a selling point for that quarterback when Josh Heupel is your coach in football and then you get to play for Tony Vitello in baseball? Interesting. Didn't think you'd go there, but is that a thing anymore? Would you take James that? Wilson did it. Okay, but that's been suddenly you you don't realize how fast the years go by, Caleb. I mean, that's been suddenly a long time ago. Who's the that's last true. guy to do it? That is true. I don't even know, but I just think of Jameis Winston. But the question would be this: Wouldn't you like? Okay, would you love to see Nico out there? Throwing for Tennessee. He'd be so intimidating. I mean, can you imagine being a right-handed batter and watching that ball come at you with his, where he would release the ball so far? That's what was so scary about Randy Johnson was his long arm. It, it, it went a left-handed batter because he was a left-hander. You were scared to death because the release point was over your head. So it's going to hit you in the head, right? But no, it would come in and be a strike. <laughs> How good would Nico be? Seriously. Oh, it would be so amazing. It would be so good. I'm telling you, here's here's why coaches don't want to do this now. And I think it's stupid. They're like, eh, we need it for spring practice because they have to learn things. Okay. You don't do you they, they do you really need your star quarterback in spring practice if they know the offense? Do you yes. really need them? Yes. No, yes. you I'm don't. Gonna, I'm gonna argue that and I'm gonna say you're absolutely wrong there. There's no debate. You, uh, no, no, no. And I'm not doing this just to create a controversy. You need your quarterback in, in spring camp. And if I was Josh Heupel, there's no way in hell that I would allow my quarterback to be a baseball player. I want to be very clear about that. What if that's I'm, the only way you can get him? What well, if that's the only way you can get him? Too bad. I'm going to get somebody else. You are crazy. No, let him play. By the way, they could. They you got to be there every on, moment of they spring. They probably ball. take part in spring camp too. In a lot of the spring camps, if they're playing home baseball games, you know, you practice in the morning, you play the game at night. No. I mean, you can do that. No, sorry, 
I've seen no, their schedule. I, no, seriously, Cooper has held their schedule up like it is nine to six. I mean, it is. It's a lot. It's more like eight to five. I mean, you it's pitch a lot. Once every, you, you pitch once a week. You pitch once a week. I would allow week. him to join the team after the season or after spring practice if he wanted to. He could join. No, I am just don't hold practices on the days he's pitching. Yeah, he's pitching once a week. I'm sorry. You I, you guys are you, you, you're really going to sacrifice. Would you sacrifice Nico Iamaliaba if he said once a week during the spring, I need to yes. be able to pitch for baseball? No, you are no, ridiculous. No. no, are, no what no, if it was Peyton Manning? Not. What if it was Peyton Manning? What if you had Peyton Manning? You're like, no. would you be like, I'll go with Brandon Stewart? <sighs> okay, well, I don't know. I don't know in retrospect. At the time, Brandon Stewart was about about 40% of the people thought that Brandon what we Stewart know was now. Guy. What we know now. What you have we a know between, now, I wouldn't. Okay, you have how- a choice between Peyton Manning and you have to let him pitch once a week in the spring for three weeks of spring practice where you don't, you don't even have to practice on those days or Brandon Stewart. Because oh, he, okay. he'll, he'll be there. He won't be pitching those three weeks. So we need him more. Update us on our poll question, if you can, for a second, as I remind people uh, that uh, my shirt right here that is embroidered and looks awesome, has off the hook sports on it. If you're one of our audio platforms, was made by Apex Apparel Group Design. 15% off, save you some money in this tough economy, and they'll make sure that everything goes right. Just call Tyler at 865-919-3001, 865-919-3001. Or click below, mention off the hook sports, get 15% off, off the hook sports, 15% off. Let me throw this scenario at you. Let's say that Nico Ia Maleava lives up to the hype. He's a Heisman candidate. He is one of the best players in the nation. And after a good run in the the playoff or a championship or whatever the case may be, he comes to you and he says, I've just got this itch. I got to play some volleyball because he was one of the top prospects in volleyball and their schedule is about the same as baseball, right? Yes. Would you let him play volleyball? Well, I don't have that problem because Tennessee doesn't have a men's volleyball team. Okay. But let's say they're starting a men's volleyball team and the men's volleyball coach comes to Nico and says, you would change the sport at Tennessee. We need you, Nico. You are the man. Would you then do that? Would you allow him to be the star of the volleyball team? No, I wouldn't allow him to be the. Yeah, okay. Sorry. No, no, okay. no one volleyball. I, I'm not done. I'm not done. I got the next part. Okay. So what would you allow him to do if he came to you and said, <laughs> Dylan says, find him a church league volleyball team? Hell yeah. All right. So what would you say if he came to you in December and said, I've never wanted to before, but I've been a Michael Jordan fan and I, I was watching his documentary and Michael Jordan went and played baseball out of left field, pun intended and enjoyed it for his dad. And I want to play baseball for the Diamond Balls because they were so exciting last year, and I'm leaving if you don't let me do it. What would you say to him? I would let him be a pitcher. Hell no. What are you talking about? I would let him. He you know, I literally, I literally for those not on the video platform, I was just up in arms, literally. The baseball season starts in February, well after football season's over. It goes to June. It only conflicts, hold on, it only conflicts with spring practice, which is three weeks in March. And by the way, during those three weeks, he'd only pitch three times because you only pitch once a week in college baseball. What about his health? That's crazy. What if Nico had season-ending injury playing baseball and then couldn't play football? No way he ain't complete he ain't playing competitive anything as a matter of fact if i'm one of those advertisers that's given him two million dollars a year it's written into his contract he better not be playing pickup basketball and i'm dead 
serious. Sorry, yeah, but it's- you're a pro now. You're not a college athlete anymore. You are a professional football player. We can paint it any way we want to. Wait, you're an advertiser. Don't you want your at your 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 don't you want your crown jewel playing multiple sports and being more visible? Come on. You're at if you're if you're well, you well, a better deal if he starts pitching for Tennessee. Okay. As an advertiser, I have to weigh both. Now, what you're talking about is Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson got a ton of coverage because he played both. So you do have a you have an angle from a marketing perspective. But remember, a lot of these advertisers go through the collectives, and the collectives want the team to be good. And I believe the collective thought would be that Nico endangering himself in another sport would not be a good idea. You're not in, like, endangering himself. What are, you, you have to play some odds here. You got to take a little risk. The odds of you endangering yourself by pitching once a week during baseball season are slim to none. And also think about revenue for a minute, Dave. You you may think Josh Heupel, Nico, say Nico wins your Heisman this year, and then he wants to go pitch. Now you're Danny White. My Heisman quarterback wants to pitch for my baseball program, and I need to sell tickets for baseball? What do you think will happen? You when don't need to sell Knoxville? tickets for baseball. Wait, 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 wait. When it gets out to Knoxville that Nico Iamaliava, my the Heisman winning quarterback, is on the mound tonight. You and I both you know need to sell tickets. You can jack up the prices and everybody will show up at ESPN will come down and people will buy tickets out the wazoo to go see that. They would pay That's top crazy. dollar. Hey now. All right. So you're just going to throw him out there and let him get hurt. And you don't care. Uh, I say who does care. You're the one who said you would send him pack in anyway if he didn't, if he, if he wanted to do that. So it doesn't matter take, from your perspective. Would you take a hundred percent dedicated to the football Jake Merklinger, or would you take eighty percent dedicated to the football Nico? Brought to you by Don Self at State Farm. Customer service still matters. For forty years, they built their business on taking care of their customers. The Greater Chattanooga area, College Dell and Ottawa. Call 423-396-2126. 423-396-2126. Or go to donself.net. That's donself.net. Take an 80% Merklinger. That's I take an eight. I would take a hundred percent Merklinger dedicated to football than an 80% Nico that has to play a little bit of baseball out of left field for no reason whatsoever. Who else is talking about this? Nobody, just us, Caleb. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I don't think that you're less committed to football if you're pitching once a week for baseball. What is that like? Just one time a week, guys. <laughs> That's maybe the best post ever on the message board. How can we further blow up and promote Nico? Think about this. Nico blows out his elbow, gets Tommy John surgery. Uh, well, you said loses. No, gets more velocity throwing the football. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, Tommy yeah. John surgery would actually make Nico better. Could you imagine? Know. Dylan, that's the thing. I thought you were going the other direction. Nowadays, they're like 14-year-olds are getting voluntary Tommy John surgery from their parents. Did you know about that, Caleb? Because it makes them so dangerous. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, that not a fan? How about they should be put in jail? I mean, yeah, <laughs> I mean not a- that's like that's like the parents that like starve their daughters to get them in a beauty pageant. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, that's well, like- I mean, I know somebody Reese. Well, I mean, you do too. The, the late Mike Hamilton passed away from a procedure that was supposed to be completely safe addressing the cancer that was riddling his body, but that wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be a dangerous surgery. Anytime you go into surgery, you know, that's, that's a bad thing. But what if Nico comes back with a, a bigger whip? What, what, what if he's got arm Joe Milton's arm strength? strength? Okay, let me ask you this. Who would have been the better quarter? Uh, who would have been the better pitcher, Joe Milton or Nico Ia Maleava? Oh, Milton. Milton, easily. Pitching is much more about power than, um, and, and, and quarterback is more about touch. You don't need as much touch when you're pitching. So Milton would be a heck of a pitcher, actually. 